let's talk about how shady this is. I'm going to skip over the word you can read. You'll know what I'm saying. An OSHA cover-up feeds conspiracy theories. And I love this. Even mainstream media itself couldn't have said it better. Anti-propaganda and conspiracy theories are not something the government can successfully control. But the government can absolutely make them worse by acting as if it has a bias toward covering up the side effects or adverse reactions to... OSHA is doing precisely that by announcing on its website that it has suspended reporting requirements that normally would cause employers to report adverse reactions. So here it is straight from OSHA's website, and I'll have the link below for you. OSHA does not wish to have any appearance of discouraging workers from receiving COVID stuff, does not wish to disincentivize employers' efforts. As a result, OSHA will not enforce recording requirements for any or excuse me recording requirements to require any employers to record worker side effects from that at least through may 2022 and remember there's already the liability clause that comes along with this thing so have you noticed what's happening that's shady as hell by the way you're just looking the other way that's shady as shit no matter how you slice it okay now have you noticed how they're, and with the mask, right? I told you, they're taking away your voice. And is that not what's happening here? Are you not being restricted, Saturn lovers? Because you, if you take this thing, there's a no liability clause for one. And two, if you feel pressured from your employer in any way, shape, or form, and you take this thing and something happens, you can go to them. They're just going to say, tough shit. We're not going to report it, and we're not going to get in trouble. So they literally have, you. if anything happens, it's completely and totally on you. For a disease that, no kidding, has a 96, if not higher, percent survival rate. That's for the worst of the worst, man. That's like for the 60 or 70 year olds, even. It's pretty insane, if you think about this. And another thing. Have you noticed how it's nobody that Amazon or Walmart aren't requiring that? Don't you think that's a little strange? I haven't heard of anyone who's lost their job over this. I know it's happening like with the police force and the teachers and the airlines and all that. But as far as like the everyday, I haven't heard of that happening yet. And don't you think that's very strange? Because arguably, wouldn't you say that Amazon and Walmart are the biggest companies in the world? And basically everyone goes to Walmart all the time and everything you're getting is being shipped to your home, being handled by someone who's not required to do this. Don't you think that's kind of strange? So this is shady as shit. You can say what you want. And good on the National Review for even saying so. All right, what have you done for love today?